It's the last day of the basketball season. Today we're back here at Lockwood High School for the state seed title game. We have Scobie taking on Twin Bridges. These two were supposed to face off in the consolation game last year, but now they get a face off in the championship. Let's see who takes home the hardware. Falcons looking to knock off the undefeated Spartans. Yesterday's semifinal hero Charlie Kruger got cooking early for the Falcons. He gets the first points of the game with this contested bucket. Down two here. Kruger gives the Falcons a lead with this three ball. And then most of us have seen WandaVision. I welcome you to Tandy Vision. Jace Tandy lighting it up from three-point land in the first half as he knocks down the trade against Scoby, a six-point lead. And boy, did he love that spot. Here he is knocking another three down. And then deja vu all over again as he nails another one from the same spot. Now how about the other corner? Of course, Tandy is money. He made five threes in the first half. Scoby isn't just all three-pointers. How about this terrific passing display that eventually winds up in the hands of Regan Mackhart for the reverse layup. That puts the Spartans up 24. They never look back from there. Scoby goes on to win 64-27 to and are your 2021 Class C state champions. I caught up with Tandy and Scoby head coach Jason Wolf after the game. I had to come through for my team. I shot terrible all weekend and I finally worked out. We knew it'd be hard at first, but we came out with energy and excitement and got it done. He's such a great kid. Uh, he's shot like that all year. He had a couple of tough games in game one and two. We knew he had it in him, and so we were just waiting for him to come out. You know, the big thing was last year, you know, we didn't get to finish it. We didn't get to experience this, and that's what these guys have been talking about all year is to finish it, get this final buzzer, and to experience that. That'll be a wrap for the Class C basketball season in Billings. John Miller, MTN Sports.